Praise the Lord. Thank you very much for joining us again today. And we ask a very simple question, straightforward question. What a privilege. What a privilege. I'll read Hebrews chapter 4, 16. It says, Let us therefore come boldly to, to the throne of grace, mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. That's Hebrews chapter 4, verse any throne for that matter, you know, it's, it's a privilege to go before any throne at all. If you're invited to the White House today or to Arsenal Rock, you'll be glad to have that invitation. And you'll prepare for it and you'll love it, you cherish it. Because anything can happen to your life if you get before the throne of the president of your country. How much more? The Lord God of the universe, the one who established all things and who holds all things and who has power over all. The one whose throne is called the throne of grace is the one who has given us this wonderful privilege that no man can give to come before him. You can cast your mind back into the Old Testament. You know, they had the tabernacle and they had sections in the tabernacle and then they had this place called the holiest of all. And that's where the Ark of the Covenant was. And Moses was to build this ark just in line with what God has shown to him. And one of the things that you see in the ark also was the place called the mercy seat. I can read that to you in Exodus chapter 25. I read, uh, let me just take from verse 21. You shall put the mercy seat on top of the ark, and in the ark you shall put the testimony that I will give you. And there I will meet with you. And I will speak with you from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim, which are on the hack of the testimony, ab about everything which I will give you in commandment to the children of uh, Israel. So the mercy seat was a place of encounter. And the throne of God is referred to here as the throne of grace. So you have the mercy seat, like the command center where God says, I will meet with you and I will, you know, uh, uh, speak to you. And I will give you instructions and directions and counsel for life. The mercy seat is there from where God speaks. The throne of God is there called the throne of grace where we have been asked as believers to come. What a privilege. Testament, only one person had that access, and he could only take that access once in a year, being the high priest. Right? Commanded, you know, on the day that Jesus Christ died on the cross, the veil of the temple was torn so that we can have access into the presence of God. This is what the scripture is saying here, that we need to come boldly, come with faith. Why? Because we have an high priest of our salvation, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has shed his blood for us so that the middle wall of separation can be torn apart. And so through the reconciliation that we have in Christ, we can go before the throne of our gracious God. And we can approach him on the mercy seat from where he will speak to us and give us counsel for life. All of this made available. I mean, we will be shortchanging ourselves if we treat this opportunity and this real privilege, this great, wonderful privilege, if we treat it with levity. And many of us believers now, we just keep a quiet time. When they ask us to come and meet the governor of our city, we want to do everything, prepare everything to get there. But when the Almighty God is asking us to come, we now treat that with levity. Oh, we shall change ourselves. Worship and prayer with levity anymore. Look at the price that was paid, the blood of the Son of God, to reconcile us to God, to take off the middle wall of separation. And God is now saying, there is a mercy seat where God wants to, you know, release his mercy to us. There is a throne of a gracious God called, referred to as the throne of grace, where God wants to release his grace unto us. Going before him by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, through the blood that he shed on the cross, we can receive both mercy and grace. Hallelujah. All available. If we, you know, deal with this rare privilege, with faith, with assurance, 
and to know that indeed it is a rare, wonderful, one in a lifetime, unique privilege that God has given to us to come before him. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. We have this invitation now. The access has been given to us through the blood of our eternal high priest, the Lord Jesus Christ. When he asks us to come, may God give us the grace and the courage to go before him and not treat the opportunity with levity. What a rare privilege you have before you now, where you are, to go before God and speak to him, to say, Lord, through the blood of your son, Jesus, I want mercy and I want grace. And the Lord will meet with you and speak to you and direct your life. And your life will never be the same again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you have not given your life to Jesus, do that now. You have a rare privilege to go before God. But that can only happen through Christ Jesus and through his blood. So ask him to wash your sins away. And ask Jesus to come and dwell in your heart. And as you pray that prayer, transformation will take place. Grace will flow into your life. And you'll never be the same again in the name of Jesus. Make sure you pray that prayer. We believe with our hearts. We confess with our mouth. And salvation is manifested. Pray that prayer. Say it loud before him. Lord Jesus, I want you. Come and dwell in my heart. God bless you. Till we come your way again, remain mightily blessed. And keep tapping mercy and grace from the mercy seat and from the throne of our gracious God. In Jesus' name, amen.